Hello everyone, Nougat here. Welcome to another match of Little War Game. Today I am bringing you a game played on Ravaged between Weird Rat with the red pieces and his opponent square root of negative one playing with the blue pieces. Uh, something we can notice right away is that Weird Rat is going for this house whereas his opponent uh, square root of negative one, he has decided to not go for a house uh, in this opening build. Instead, rather, he's kind of uh, sent one of his workers to scout around his expansion, uh, basically to scout to see if Weird Rat had uh, sent any workers to maybe do some sort of tower shenanigans, or maybe he changed his mind um, and decided to go for a different build. Um, but as we can see, Weird Rat is going for a house into looks like a workshop build we do see that the workshop is being built and square root of negative one does decide to sound out a worker and it looks like he is trying to go for a castle first expand so what he's done is he's essentially cut workers um, at nine supply um, so he only has nine workers and, and well actually he has ten workers I believe no he only has nine uh, in total and he decided to go for a early castle uh, so that he can focus on his production uh, this build is usually followed up with uh, a house and a wolf den actually two wolf dens uh, for safety so I'm gonna we're gonna keep an eye on square root of negative one's build uh, to see kind of where it goes from here uh, and then at the same time let's take a look at weird rats opening so he went for um, con constant worker production he should have uh, more workers at this moment he does he has 11 workers to square root of negative ones uh, 10 workers and he's also going for this workshop uh, which is a very safe uh, opening it lets you get this uh, gatling gun um, out and then um, and then it's very hard to punish this kind of opening it's very hard to do anything aggressive against this because it is so safe at the same time we're uh, square root of negative one is doing a good job of um, of being greedy. It does look like he went for a barracks opening, so this is very interesting. Normally, um, if your opponent is playing barracks, you normally see a raider on the other side of the map around 2 minutes and 10 seconds, I want to say. Um, but this is very interesting because we're past that timing, and square root of negative 1 does not have any uh, defensive units on his side of the map. If a raider were to come, uh, and show up or even maybe like three wolves square root of negative one would be completely defenseless at this point um, I'm very curious to see if weird rat decides to build a bird at any point that bird would be, be beneficial to scout out what your opponent is doing especially if no units have reached your side of the map so if we take a look at weird weird rats vision uh, he currently doesn't have any information uh, except for what's going on immediately uh, in his vicinity while square root you know he's in the same situation but he went for some uh, for a greedy opening and that's gonna make him uh, be ahead pretty much no matter what he does decide to go for a raider um, this raider is fantastic for scouting um, obviously it has its blink ability which makes it really solid for um, for scouting for avoiding tricky situations um, and at this point, Weird Rat has decided to just continue on uh, playing defensively and, uh, and bring his, his workers uh, up, to, uh, up to 14 where it currently is. He's, he's trying to work on his economy. We do see that these uh, units finally meet in the middle. Um, obviously, Weird Rat is trying to push forward, uh, trying to take some pressure. Uh, to his opponent while square root of negative one is basically trying to deflect the pressure uh, and he's basically going to want to see uh, when weird rat decides to go for his third base uh, weird rat is starting to move forward we do see that square root of negative one is taking a third uh, base and at the same time um, he is also getting another barrack uh, unit so he only has two archers to defend against this and as a result he needs to pull some workers so that he can be de defensive at the same time square root is trying to be aggressive on the other side of the map on almost loses a raider um, but we do see that a good majority of the fighting is happening here it looks like uh, weird rat 
did lose one of these um, one of these Gatling guns, uh, and then we can see that uh, square root of negative one also lost a worker. But in terms of uh, resources lost, um, that's obviously going to be in square root of negative ones as Gatling guns cost almost two workers. We do see that this raider is aware that this third base is going down. Um, I'm very curious to see if Square Root is able to move out of this situation. It does look like he is. He doesn't. His raider doesn't die, and thus he is safe to continue to um, to, to scout around with his raider. Looks like Square Root decides that he wants to go for a push. Um, he should know that there's a catapult here. He should know that all these ballista, um, all these Gatling guns are are on are on the defense, uh, especially since he was able to scout it just a couple seconds ago. Um, and at the same time, we do see that Weird Rat is going for an advanced workshop. And uh, while well, this is going on, and so is square root of negative one. Some scouting that's going on. We see that this worker pull is here to transfer to the third base, uh, not necessarily to aid uh, this raider, but these archers here are doing a fantastic job of putting some pressure uh, on this third base. They're moving around, um, able to kind of avoid uh, the pressure that this catapult has, uh, and they're able to do some damage. Uh, killing a worker, killing a, a Gatling gun, that is uh, that's a huge amount of pressure, especially if he can kill this, this other Gatling gun as well, which he might be able to do. It looks like he was able to save it right at the last uh, last second. We do see a forge going down and we do see that Weird Rat is starting to build uh, an airship but I don't know I don't know if Weird Rat can afford to send catapults on the other side of the map yet. He, Assumingly he is building this airship so that he can pick up these two catapults, get plus one uh, mechanical uh, attack and then do a pretty devastating mech attack on the other side of the map, but that, that is unlikely at this point, especially as Weird Rat has to defend. Um, while this is going down, Square Root is going for his fourth base. He feels comfortable uh, and relatively safe to do it. He is doing this off of two barracks of production in advanced workshop, which is not very much uh, production at all, to be honest. Um, he is also going for a mage guild, so that's going to uh, let square root of negative one get some mages potentially go for some mage drops we do see that weird rat did send this airship onto the other side of the map and square root was not able to scout that out very curious to see what this is able to do and we do see the catapults uh, coming out currently plus one mechanical uh, attack is not finished so these workers are not going to get one shot by the uh, catapults but they are going to take a tremendous amount of damage especially if this drop isn't answered by some uh, some archers, which it does look like the archers are being pulled. We have a drop uh, by square root of negative one that's going on towards uh, Weird Rat's main base. Weird Rat does have an advanced, uh, or does have a tower at his main base that, that just finished, and that's going to defend against this pretty well. And then at the same time, square root is basically forced to pull workers off of his uh, off of his gold mines to keep them safe from this this kind of situation. Uh, we do see that they're pulled from the main, so they're they're trying to dance around these uh, catapult drops so that they don't get uh, they don't get killed. Again, catapults don't have that plus one attack upgrade just yet, so they're not able to to two shot workers uh, at this point. But Weird Rat is now here with his archers. He's able to deflect this pressure, but. Weird Rat has um, has the potential to to drop into Square Rat's fourth squ uh, Square Root's fourth base here, just like he's doing now, and he he can still be uh, annoying. There's no army here to to deflect this. At the same time, we see that the weir the drop on um, on this side of the map was a semi um, you know semi beneficial i didn't really cover uh much of it since i was mostly focused over here but we can assume that it was pretty much deflected by this watchtower um and then the units that are here this worker still is present doing some damage but it doesn't look like that'll be uh the case anymore uh weird rat is still going for some drops and i don't know if you noticed this but weird rat is also starting to produce 
three mills so that he can go for some um, for some gyrocraft production at this point, which I think is pretty solid. Um, except that your opponent has uh, pretty much only archers at this point, so he's already going for a unit composition that counters gyrocraft. But we'll see how that goes. We'll see how Weird Rat plays this out. Um, something I will no note or make note of is that square root of one of negative one has been constantly producing workers, and um, he's going to be at uh, like perfect four base um, mining soon. So he's going to be making a lot more income than than Weird Rat will be able to, um, and so that might play play a factor into this game especially if it goes towards the longer side of play uh, the longer you're in an economic uh, advantage uh, the better your situation is going to be because you can afford more but weird rat is going for a very committed four mil production gyrocraft kind of kind of uh, build here it's not necessarily a tech switch because gyrocraft are available once you build a, uh, a workshop or mills are available once you build a workshop so this is something that uh, square root of negative one can be aware of and especially now now that he sent this airship to the other side of the map he's going to be very aware uh, of the threat that these um, gyrocraft are going to uh, present uh, especially as he sees them producing now um, drop is trying to be successful but we do see that the gyrocraft are out which is pretty much going to force these mages uh, out of the craft and then they're going to try to do some damage but the catapults are here the workers are here uh, they're able to pretty much deal with the um, the drop as they need to drop uh, or as they need to be dealt with let's take a look at the upgrade tab we can see that square root has gone for the um, the fireball upgrade which was obvious he, oh he's doing a very nice trick here uh, he put his slow field right on top of the uh, the his opponent's airship and as a result he was able to shoot it down with his uh, ballista it's a fantastic ability very strong that the um, that the mages can do this and as a result weird rat loses two of his um, catapults we also see that um, square root of negative one is going for an additional uh, advanced workshop so that he can continue to produce ballista which are the counters to a lot of these gyrocraft let's go ahead and take a look at the production tab while this is going on looks like weird rat is going for another workshop he currently has i believe three um three workshops and three mills for that gyrocraft production you can see that from his economy right now that he is, you know, he's constantly, constantly low-ish, uh, having to make sure that he's building units. Obviously, he could continue to build more, as these uh, mills are idling at the moment. Um, and then we do see that on the other side of the map, Weird Rat is starting to use his gyrocraft uh, to put some pressure. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over here. We have a scout. Uh, we also have a fifth base going down by square root of negative one. Um, a little bit adventurous, I would say, especially as he currently has uh, four bases and his opponent only has three. So taking a fifth base is definitely something you want to do if you want to get further ahead uh, in terms of economy. Uh, but you really need to make sure you can defend it all. We do see that these towers are going up. There's one at the third base. I'd probably like to see more at the second and main base to protect against these gyrocraft. Um, we do see that these archers are available to answer these gyrocraft as well as these ballistas, which square root of negative one is doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping track of. But yeah, yeah, so exactly, exactly as I'm as I mentioned, um, square root of negative one is getting currently two additional um, watchtowers, one at his third. I wonder where the other one is going up. I can't really find it. Oh, one at his fourth here. Um, and then while uh, Weird Rat is able to do a pretty pretty successful uh, catapult drop again, um, however, it looks like Square Root of Negative 1 might be losing some units. At the same time, we do see that Square Root did go for a Mage drop, so there's a lot of things going on on this map, uh, very quickly answered by these uh, gyrocraft that, that Weird Rat has, and it does look like Weird Rat is starting to go for this mobilization. He has all of his units together. 
Uh, he's got his gyrocraft. He's got a bunch of workers pulled uh, for repair in case he needs it. At the same time, I'm very curious to see what Square Root's response to this is going to be once he sees this large army. He responds immediately by pulling these soldiers back. He has other soldiers moving on to the other side of the map, but I'm very curious to see where his main army is. It looks like it's here, and it looks like it is moving over to his fifth base to try to protect his fifth base and pri uh, try to respond uh, to this aggressive force that's coming in. Let's go ahead and take a look at production. Uh, we see four mages and one soldier in the production tab currently. Uh, mages are fantastic against ground units, but probably not as fantastic against mech. We do need to see that that um, square root of negative one's army arrives. And now that it is here, we do see that the soldiers are present, the ballista are present, and we're gonna see uh, some ballista versus um, versus gyrocraft play now and we do see that they're very very solid against that I would love to see these soldiers continue to move forward and and try to hit a lot of these um, a lot of these catapults as you can see it's a very heavy uh, micro intensive battle we have these fireballs that are coming down we have workers that are trying to repair the catapults uh, we have soldiers that are trying to get close enough to the catapults uh, to do some damage uh, but again, these worker repair, uh, it, it's really solid, and we, we really need some uh, additional DPS to really get something done. Those those mage fireballs doing a very good job of getting these units low. In fact, this little worker here was able to kill one of the, one of the catapults. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, but it does look like Weird Rat was able to win that uh, rather long engaged fight, and th that seems to be the case usually. Uh, when you go up against an army that is mostly made out of catapults, the longer you're engaged with the, ar with the army with catapults, uh, the more damage you're going to take just because of how much damage uh, these guys can do. Let's go ahead and take a look around the map, see what else is going on. Nothing much, we just see uh, some production. So this is this side of the map is really mostly where everything is is going down right now. We do see some soldiers over here. Uh, trying to pick off some catapults and we also see that uh, Weird Rat's bird is currently here to scout for uh, a sixth base in case he wants to take one or in case his opponent wants to take one but as we can see uh, Weird Rat is doing a very good job of pressing forward into his opponent's uh, base removing his opponent's uh, fifth base and um, now he's going to press forward. He's going to try to kill these watchtowers. Uh, he's going to try to kill his production. And that's a lot of the game right now. A, a lot of the game is in the production, which um, square root of negative one is only on, I believe, six barracks at the moment. But he's on four bases. Typically, you want a little bit more um, more production um, at this point of the game uh, if you're going to play bar uh, barracks against. Uh, mech. You, you want a lot of soldiers, you want a lot of archers, um, and even mages, as square root of negative one has been able to do. So he's approaching, he's making drops, um, and then we also see that these, these the list are doing a great job of, of killing these, uh, these airships, but the soldiers are, are getting stuck in, which is exactly what you want to see. You want to see soldiers hitting uh, catapults. They do a very good job of uh, damaging those units. We see mages trying to deal with these um, with these gyrocraft and then square root uh, or weird rats gyrocraft are doing a very good job of being aggressive um, currently I believe square root currently doesn't have any more um, any more ballista and as a result he's not gonna have a lot of answers for this uh, for these gyrocraft in fact he has he has only five soldiers at this point which is very troubling the funny thing is Square uh, or Weird Rat only has 23 workers, and he is able to make this um, very aggressive assault almost 17, almost 18 minutes into the game with only 23 workers at this point. Square root of negative one on 30, where he used to be around 50 because of how many losses uh, he took. We do see more ballista coming out to deal with these gyrocraft. Archers are trying their best to deal uh, with these gyrocraft as well, but the ground army. Of Weird Rat is probably too strong to repel, and as a result, we do see the GG from square root of negative one 
GG to Weird Rat for winning this fantastic game. Getting to see a you know, three base, technically two base uh, push versus uh, what was about five bases uh, when he started moving with these uh, catapults. So very strong unit composition. Uh, very good play by both of these players. Um, yeah, fantastic job. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.